Hi everyone, this is Nicole from Veterinary Care Logistics and I'm so happy to be back here today with you. Uh, so today I wanted to go over a couple of things about receiving inventory into Avamark and kind of how we go about this. Now bear with me, this is the demo version of Avamark, so as you see we're back in 2010. So want to go over a little bit of things here so if we go up into the RX tab or you can also get here by going to work with and then inventory list this will bring up your inventory screen here and I've already kind of created a mock order which I want to go to so to get to all of my purchase orders that I've created I'll go into file order and then choose so this will kind of bring up all of the open orders so these were from like a gazillion years ago so I'm just gonna go ahead and purge these out of here because I know that they're not um, okay I guess I can't purge them out of the demo version but anyways if this was not the demo version and you're looking to purge these out of your system you can just click on them go to edit and then it should have purge for you okay so I'm gonna double click this to bring up the um, kind of the mock purchase order that I did so now you can add items on here by going to right click and then choose and that'll kind of bring up your list here now a trick is I always bring it to the side so you can see what's behind here for one of two reasons a so you don't forget what you're doing and accidentally go to file choose and then choose the purchase order again from this screen I've done that before and it kind of corrupts your um, <laughs> your uh, purchase orders which you have to like rebuild and you know how Avamark works so it's just a lot easier if you just move it to the side plus you can already see what you're working with here so we can cancel out of this because we don't want to add any more items but let's say for example this was um, you know we had placed our order from let's just say for example MWI and I like to enter in my purchase orders um, either before I place my order or I build them after I place my order if you're using your practice management system to create your purchase orders um, and that's um, how you know what to order this is a great way to do this first but otherwise if you use your um, want book and reorder tags and things like that you can always create a purchase order in here after you've actually placed your order so once I have built this and it's exactly how I want it to look I have all the correct order um, quantities on there you can see the unit cost and the units here okay so we're gonna go up here into order and then release okay so that basically tells Avamark okay hey this is an open order and then everything that you have on your order screen will turn blue in the inventory list okay so let's fast forward a couple days and you have received some of these um, items okay so let's take a look at this here so let's say for example this canine maintenance came from Royal Canaan so I have a separate invoice from Royal Canaan that I need to receive into Avamark so you're just gonna click on this canine maintenance here you'll go to right click and then receive so now I only want to receive this one item here because that was the only thing that I purchased from Royal Canaan so we're just gonna double click on this just verify that I ordered two packages but I also received two packages we're going to update the cost we'll just say for example six dollars and ten cents whatever it expires not in 2002 so ah, we'll just say 2020 for example and then we can do done and then we want to proceed through that Okay, now from here so this is the parvo vaccine obviously our parvo vaccines didn't come from Royal Canaan so we can go ahead and cancel out of this so now we'll just go back to this and so Avamark says that we have received twelve dollars and twenty cents which is our two bags of the canine maintenance which is exactly what we want it to say okay so now from here you can go into order receive again 
or you can just press F8 and that will bring up this. So now because this was the only thing we received so far in this order, we're just going to go ahead and, oh, we'll just say it was actually Hills. You'll go ahead and put in your order or your invoice number and then the date of the invoice. And then um, you always want to have this markup prices. Shipping, you can um, say if there's a shipping tax or other fees in there. You'll just go ahead and click continue. So now because we said markup prices and we had the markup entered into Avamark, it'll ask us do we want to increase the price from $729 to $799. Yes, we want to proceed. Anytime there's a price increase, we want to pass those along to our clients. Okay, so now that'll go away. And if you see here in the order screen, it'll now show the same order as a back order. So let's double click this again, and this will have everything from our previous purchase order with the exception of the canine maintenance that we've already received, okay? So let's say that we got our Parvo vaccine in from Let's just say Marielle, okay? So we're going to receive that. And we'll go ahead and say we got two vaccines. And at $125 a piece, and then because we did not get the 3V skin formula, we can go ahead and cancel out of that. And now it says, okay, you have received $2.50 for these Parvo vaccines. So we're gonna go ahead and press F8 again. And this time we're going to choose, oh, they don't have a Mariel, so we're just going to, we'll just put Pfizer. What a throwback. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put in our invoice number and whatever date you want. And we'll say there was like $900 in shipping, so we put that in there. And then so now it says price for Parvo vaccine will be increased from $0 to $0.10. Cents. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Okay, so now let's say the rest of this order was from MWI, okay? So we can just double click on here. Okay, we received a hundred and it, so you know what's interesting is Avamark doesn't even have their own demo set up correctly. Because as you receive, you say, okay, I want to order 100. Let's say that this came in a vial of 100 mils. Once you receive this, it should go to one, and you've received one package, and then the cost is your cost for your total package. So that's hysterical to me. Okay, so now we can see this. We'll go over here to the item detail. And so if you go over here into the purchasing tab, this order pack should be put in as 100 mils. So, and then the average package cost you'll want for the entire vial. And then it'll automatically divide the average package cost by 100 to give you your average unit cost. So now we can't save this information right here because um, we're just working off of a purchase order. Um, but if you see this in your um, purchase order, that means you know, okay, hey, I need to go back in to my inventory list once I've received this and correct it. So we'll just go ahead and say, okay, we received 100 mils. The cost per mil was, we'll say like 98 cents a mil. I hope it never gets that expensive. And then we can just go through the list. So same here with propofol. Instead of saying that you receive 600 mils, this should say, um, I can't even math right now, like 12 bottles rather than 600 mils. And then this cost should be your total package cost, not your individual mill cost, if that makes sense. Same with acepromazine. So you can kind of see here, let's go through that. We got one of the pet tabs. We got a hundred dispensing vials. And same thing with dispensing vials. You know, you can put in there that your um, package quantity is a hundred so that when you receive it, it'll know that you received one whole package. So same thing here with amoxicillin. This should be, you say, one and one package. And this should say 
for the cost for the entire package, not each individual pill. Same with the Cephalexin, geez. And the Clavamox. So anytime you see that you ordered is like hot, really high like this, that gives you a flag of, hey, I need to go back into my inventory list and make sure that I have my screen set up correctly. We got four Trezoderm. Okay, so boom. We have received every single thing on this purchase order. And you want to make sure that this received area here matches your total on the purchase order. Okay? Or your invoice or pack and slip, whatever you've received from the company. We'll go ahead and um, press F8 again. And... Um, okay, we'll just do Henry Shine. Um, but actually, I'm going to show you something really quick. Oops. Eh. So let's say, for example, Trezoderm was like halfway on back order, so we only received three um, tubes of it, or bottles, whatever. Um, you'll just go ahead and press three here. We'll go ahead and receive that we um, everything, and we'll go to Henry Shine, type in our invoice number. <laughs> and put the date. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna go through and mark up our prices. Okay, so now once we're, we've received that, we can go back in here and see we've only, we're just waiting on one little lonely bottle of Trezoderm. So we've received three so far, but we're still waiting on one to order. So then as soon as you get your back order shipment from there, you can um, come in here and receive it this way. So this is a great way, you know, to kind of keep track of all of your back orders. Um, so people know um, that you're still waiting on stuff, things like that. So anyways, I hope that helps on how to receive information um, for the purchase orders. So let's go back in and let's fix Clavamox that we are just looking at. That was the 125s. Okay, so we saw that it recommended us to um, that we we're going to be buying 210 individual tabs rather than one total package. So we'll go over here to the purchasing tab and see this order pack. This right here, the order pack, is where we should have the actual package size. So we'll go ahead and put 210 right here in the order pack and the average package cost We'll just say that, and now it'll automatically divide the unit cost so that it's appropriate. So we'll just go ahead and click OK. So now, because you've put in the order pack over here on the general screen, you just want to make sure you update your package cost because before this was the actual cost of an individual tablet, and so now your cost says it's like less than one cent, which of course is not accurate. So we'll just go ahead and put that at the package cost was 154 and see now it updates the cost to be um, you know more accurate and then we're going to also want to change over here in the markup package cost. So we'll go ahead and want 154 there. Boom, there you go. So that is how you can kind of make sure that this is updated correctly. And see so now next time, oops, ah so now next time when you order this, you'll be able to see, I ordered 210, but it'll say the cost for the whole package, not just each individual tab. So anyways, I hope this was helpful for everyone. If you have any questions or if there's another video that you'd like to take a peek at, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to put one together. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, guys.